everybody. Welcome to another story time at the Turn Library. Um, this is a little different. It's a book. The book we're going to read today is to help us appreciate what it would be like if we were blind. And it's called The Black Book of Colors. And it's by Mananan Cotton. And the illustrations are by Rosanna Faria. This actually is a book from Mexico. It won a whole bunch of awards. But um, again, if you're blind, everything is black. So this is going to help us learn about what it might be like if we were blind. Um, and on every page, there's Braille. I'm trying to make you see, see the little dots. So a blind person can actually feel those dots and learn to read feeling those dots. And I just did a little example, like for the letter A, they would feel one dot. For the letter B, they would feel two dots and like that, and the whole alphabet. And I can't imagine being a little kid trying to learn how to read by just feeling the dots. The Black Book of Colors. Thomas says that yellow tastes like mustard, but is as soft as a baby chick's feathers. Again, Thomas is blind and he can't see colors, so all he does, see the braille written there? And the picture are raised, they're just raised um, pictures where you feel them with your finger, and so Thomas, who is blind, would feel these and feel what a feather felt like. Thomas thinks red is sour like unripe strawberries and as sweet as watermelon. It hurts when he finds it on his scraped knee. And again, braille. And then over here, look at the raised feeling of a strawberry. So the blind person would feel this and know it was a strawberry and that it's red. Brown crunches under his feet like fall leaves. Sometimes it smells like chocolate, but other times brown might stink. Again, braille, if you see all those little dots. And then you would feel, these are leaves going through the air. And again, if you were blind, you would only feel things or smell things and taste things. You couldn't see anything. Thomas says that blue is the color of the sky when kites are flying and the sun is beating hot on his head. The braille. And over here, see, there's, you would feel, there's a kite string and there's a kite. But when clouds decide to gather up and the rain pours down, then the sky is white. Ooh, I can see the braille really good. And look at all those raindrops. You can even almost see that it looks just like rain on a window in this instance. And when the sun peeks through the falling water, all the colors come out, and that's a rainbow. <gasps> Ooh. So on this page, I can feel we've got feathers, leaves, rain, everything they talked about. Thomas thinks that without the sun, water wouldn't amount to much. It has no color, no taste, and no smell. So there, you can kind of feel, I think it's like a, a lake maybe with drops of rain falling onto the lake and splashing up. He says that green tastes like lemon ice cream and smells like grass that's just been cut. Again, this side is all the braille. And on this side, look at, that is grass. And it just got cut, it's blowing up through there. But again, if you really check out this book, you hardly can see anything. But black is the king of all the colors. It's as soft as silk when his mother hugs him and her hair falls down in his face. And look at, you can actually see the hair that they drew and you can feel it. Thomas likes all the colors because he can hear them, and smell them, and touch them, and taste them. And here's the last page, and again, it's got the grass, it's got some rain, it's got some leaves. 
strawberries. And at the back of the book, it says Braille Alphabet, and here's the letters of the alphabet, and you can actually feel the dots. But I gotta tell you, I can't imagine being blind and having to learn to read like that, because that would be really hard. So this is a special book, and it was made to help people appreciate what blind people go to, and it helps to raise money to purchase Braille books for people to have available in schools and libraries and things. So again, the Black Book of Colors, and we learned a little bit about what it would like to be blind. Thanks for listening.